Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. I'm over at my neighbor's place. Uh, you're going to have to forgive the rooster noise because uh, I'm a stranger over here and they, they, they don't <laughs> they don't like me so they're calling. So I've done, I've done videos on this uh, on our neighbor's piggery before. He's decided to sell uh, sell his property here and along with it goes this piggery This, this piggery can have uh, six sows and up to 60 fattening pigs. That's part of the cell. It also has this, it also has this uh, uh, caretaker's house. I'm not gonna intrude on them and, and, uh, and uh, go around and, and show in there, but it's large. It's actually bigger than our house. I really don't know what it's like inside, but it's nice. It's got a little upstairs balcony there, and it's been rebuilt because the typhoon uh, basically, well, it ripped the roof off of this. We traded roofs. He got some of our, he got some of the roof from our house over there, and we got some of the roof from uh, this house. <laughs> but anyway, this. Uh, Depending on exactly what a buyer would desire, this uh, property is either 1.5 or about two and a half hectares. If they, um, it's a, it's a, it's not an either or. It's a the this area here is 1.5 hectares, and if they if a buyer wanted a larger uh, holding, there's another hectare adjoining it that can be added now the old back here is still not that great so I'm not going to do a big tour of this but I'm going to try to get away from the roosters a little bit so uh, we can talk about this now down there for those of you who uh, have been with the channel for a while uh, there's a this owner created originally he was going to use this farm and he did use it for a while as a duck raising operation for uh, meat and balut but it didn't it didn't go well because he's a uh, he's an he was at that time an OFW and uh, it doesn't work any better for 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 Filipinos than it does foreigners trying to remote manage a business so that failed but for that he he had a large pond uh, dammed he didn't dig any of it out but he dammed it was like a, a a gully that he dammed up so it's about well it's several hundred square meters and when it's full it's three or four feet deep now amazingly enough we've had enough rain uh, to almost fill it up in the last couple months it had been dry for years uh, they use that pond to irrigate rice fields there's rice fields maybe i can get down here and get a little bit better view of the rice fields yeah there they are So these are the rice fields back in there. And he says he, uh, they always rate their rice fields on yield. And he says this one is about 50 sacks per cropping. And unlike most uh, rice operations in the Philippines, he can get three uh, three croppings per year rather than two because he has uh, he, there, he has the ability to irrigate them from his little pond back there so uh, that would be I don't know 150 sacks of rice per year potential this is a nice little plateau we're on right here 
it sits quite a bit higher than those rice fields but it's a it's basically a flat plateau and it's several hundred square meters probably I don't know a couple thousand square meters that is flat right around here most of it has been cleared This is a nice little place. So, uh, the asking for uh, the 1.5 hectare, which includes the piggery and the caretaker house, there's also a, a, a nice well on it, um, the pond and the rice fields, um, is uh, 350 per square meter and again that's about it's uh, give or take 1.5 uh, hectares and if you want the additional uh, well let's see he said he said 5.5 million for the 1.5 hectares and if you wanted the basically 2.5 hectares it would be 7.5 uh, 7.5 million pesos, which is, I don't know, <coughs> with the exchange rates anymore, it's hard to keep track, but uh, just say 150,000 pesos. <coughs> so, while it's not cheap, uh, it's not crazily expensive either. It's, uh, I don't know if that price is open to negotiation or not. That's just the numbers that he told me. But it does have uh, access eat because it borders the Barangay Road the same as ours does. It's a nice little place. You better watch out, Nini. That, that rooster's gonna get you. <laughs> All right, so either 1.5 hectares for 5.5 million or 2.5 hectares, and that's give or take uh, on the size-wise uh, for 7.5 million. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.